hello everyone in this session we will discuss about different type different different types of dc generators with their characteristics so here if all dc generators are designed with same rated voltage that means we are using so every machine have same rated voltage all the machines have fixed rated voltage at the rated current fixed current then the characteristics are below the characteristics are look like this so first you know first about the series series generator if you take the series generator first so in the series generator series generator means itself by varying the load current the emf will be increases or armature current or load current so that's why so it will i will write like this it will follow the curve it will reach that point and it will increases so this is nothing but the dc series generator dc series generator and next so for example if we are take a flat compound generator second second i will go for the flat compound the name itself when you are increasing the load current the voltage approximately equal to the emf then the flat compound generator is like this so you can take it as this is the flat compound generator that means it will give the flat voltage by so same as the generator emf flat compound generator and next take the over compound generator the over compound generator next that means emf is by increasing the load the voltage will be higher than the induced emf then we can name it as the over compound i will take this is this point is for the over compound generator this is a straight line that's why it is increases over compound generator next fourth uh, i will go for the under compound generator under compound under compound generator means it will be low value maybe it will start at here and it will be reach the point like this so slightly you should increase very slightly so this is the under compound generator next we have a shunt generator shunt generator means generally it will start from somewhere it is less than the this value shunt generator i will take the and the shunt this is the shunt generator yeah so here when the load current increases the more voltage value is decreases that's why it is the shunt generator and next next is differential compound generator the last generator is a differential compound generator differential compound generator means when the increases the load current it is fully the emf will be decreases so we can name it as the differential compound generator differential compound generator so by using the these characteristics we can divide these number of these number of generators these number of generators if they are operated with the single rated voltage and rated current if the if it is decreases the rated current these are the characteristics if we increase the rated current these are the characteristics by using these characteristics we are, we should use these different types of dc generators for different applications okay right this is about the 
characteristics of the different types of DC generators. Our next topic is voltage regulation. So this is about the this is the voltage regulation. So first, what is the regulation? We need to look at the what is the regulation. So regulation is the regulation is very very important term that will be useful for analyze the understanding the any machine. So you have to keep in your mind that is for any machine to understand any machine two parameters are required one is the efficiency the second one is the regulation so here we are discussing about the regulation so generally what is the meaning of regulation a regulation is simply no load voltage minus full load voltage by full load voltage you know what is the no load voltage here so i will write here what is no load voltage i will write regulation you know what is no load voltage nothing but induced emf what is full load voltage v what is the full load voltage v into 100 so this is the formula for the regulation formula for the regulation okay right generally if we have the voltage regulation is always proportional to the speed of the machine speed of the DC machine and the inversely proportional to the torque okay this is a very important thing that is the voltage regulation is proportional to the speed and inversely proportional to the torque okay next voltage regulation of DC shunt generator is dropping so positive that means from no load to full load E minus V by V value will become positive that's why it is called that's why it is called positive right the voltage regulation of DC series generator it is negative why at no load induced voltage V and full load voltage is V become 100 that means approximately it will become negative approximately so that's why the voltage regulation of DC series generator is negative okay so generally voltage negative the voltage regulator negative means it is the poorest voltage regulation that means it is a bad it is a bad machine actually it is a bad machine so generally it's a good machine I will write one point here if it is a good machine the voltage regulation should be low positive or zero uh, for poorest for bad machine poorest voltage regulation and uh, yeah always zero is the best machine the voltage regulation is better that means it is a good good operating machine there is no change between no load voltage to full load voltage okay next the voltage regulation of over compound is negative why it is negative the formula is generally v is the formula is e minus v by v into 100 so that's why here if you observe here v value is high that means whenever v value is high you will get the negative value right the voltage regulation of under compound generator is positive here same formula e minus v by v v value is low value so compare with this then automatically you will get the positive value okay next here flat level compound voltage regulation flat level we have dc generator is there the voltage regulation value will get, become the zero that is v equal to e if separately excited generator is available then the voltage regulation is positive automatically because some voltage drop is occurs okay the differential compound generator is the positive the differential compound generator is positive voltage regulation what about separately excited generator generally e minus v by v e minus v by v okay so here e value is 
generally v value is low full load voltage value is low because we have some voltage drops are available right differentially excited generator here the positive so simply because it, it has very low value so that's why it is a positive so these are the different different machines the poorest positive voltage regulation is is a differential compound generator two things are important the first thing poorest negative voltage generator is the this is the first point dc series generator here we have dc series generator poorest positive voltage regulation is differential compound generator so which is compared with the both the machines dc series generator is have more poorest because negative is very 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 low value compared with the positive very very low value compared with the positive okay so this is the very poorest voltage regulation we have okay yeah this is about the two two points we discussed one is about uh, if we are using different different types of dc generators then the characteristics if all the machines are operated with the rated voltage and rated current the second the voltage regulation concept and voltage regulation of the different types of dc shunt generators okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you